In one of my recent videos, I put my life on the line to find out what gear the majority of rogue agents use in the dark zone, but in doing so, I came across a build that was one of a kind. It didn't have the most armor, it didn't do the most damage, but time and time again, I was able to down rogue agents with it. So what makes it so good and why, when Project Resolve goes live, will it get even stronger? This build is built around one simple concept, insane healing that can replenish me to full armor almost instantly while I burn enemies down. This healing is delivered in three ways. The Catharsis Mask, which builds a weapon damage buff up to 30% before dropping a healing cloud that removes stasis effects and heals 50% of armor over 10 seconds. A Restore a Hive with 28 charges and a Reinforcer Chem Launcher for when you need a hit of the good stuff. The effect of these are then supercharged with one piece of Ab Summit Armament, which adds 20% repair skills, one piece of Richter and Kaiser, which adds 20% incoming repairs, three 20% repair skill attributes, three repair skill mods, and one incoming repairs attribute to make me into a literal healing god. With the hive down and the chem launcher cloud up, it's time to go all Rambo and remind some rogues to act like a German car manufacturer and get out of here. To make my healing skills even spicier, I am running four skill tiers. One from the technician specialization, which also adds 10% skill healing, two from core attributes, and one from the two-piece bonus on the Brazos brand set. While four armor cores is slightly below the average for rogue builds, the chest talent of Unbreakable and the backpack talent of Adrenaline Rush are not. You already have a ton of survivability with the build, so you could swap out Adrenaline Rush for either Vigilance or Companion for some extra damage output, albeit when farming landmarks with lots of enemies present, Adrenaline Rush really shines. Speaking of damage output, this build hits harder than a redneck at a family reunion through the Ouroboros Exotic SMG and a Carbine 7 Assault Rifle with the talent Flatline, the Contractor's Gloves for the 8% damage to armor, Red Core from the Picaro's Holster, three critical hit chance attributes and two critical hit damage attributes. When fully optimized, the Ouroboros is at 59% critical hit chance and 79% critical hit damage, which is enough to make farming landmarks easy with its insanely high RPM. The Carbine 7 is a great assault rifle for long range fights due to its higher accuracy and stability compared to other ARs. Kingbreaker with Perfect Flatline is a good alternative, as is the Great Burstfire AR for mass. With the Talent Optimist. Playing this build is simple. In any firefight, drop the Restorer Hive in a Chem Launcher Crowd, which should be reapplied when needed. This will give you enough healing to tank most damage while you burn enemies down. Stay close to the Restorer Hive, as this will also provide immunity from shock and disruption, which will be a surprise for any St. Elmo builds. Now, this build can be countered currently by disrupt skills like the EMP Sticky Bomb, but with Project Resolve, this will only be the case when other agents are running skill tiers themselves which is rarely the case. On top of that, repair skills will add 50% hazard resistance, which with the reduction in impact of stasis effects of Project Resolve, will make this build very effective against stasis effect builds. Project Resolve is also introducing an instant armor kit, which heals 25% of armor on a button tap. If repair skills and incoming repairs work with this heal, then this build is going to be even more overpowered than it already is. This is a great build for farming landmarks in the dark zone, and for going all crisp Brown on Rihanna with Rogue Agents. If you need more help with life in the dark zone though, then check out these videos here.